You stream up, oh my god, as Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I haven't screamed that for like an ages, so I have to huh, put a time, time, time stamp once again. And pin it. Already for my phone waiting to tell me that I'm online. What's up? What's up? Oh no, chat is a bit messed up. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, that's better. I think that's better. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I haven't streamed um, I was about to say Ashen Empire stuff. <laughs> um, nope. Um, Idle Champions for quite a long time. Um, personally because the last season was almost... There it is, my phone telling me that I'm online. But, you better late. We already have one and a half minute into the stream. I mean, come on. You used to you used to do better than that. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, um, because the last season was almost over and there was nothing much to do um, this season is going absolutely fabulous so far uh, rivals of Waterdeep love them mostly <laughs> um, I do see two problems um, with this uh, season, I can show you which one I, I mean. I think you you'll see them. Uh, yeah, Danny and her paintings. They're giving me. Uh, I was about to say a heartache. Um, nope. Uh, a headache, a bit of a headache. At first, I thought thirsty as always. Cheese. Um, at first, I thought it would be those uh, complete areas with. Four stacks of shape as celestial fossil. But that's actually not a big deal. Um, especially not in free place. You can just, you know, set it up and let it run for like, I don't know, 800 something areas. And with, um, shoot, I always forget his name, Strongheart, <laughs> in a background party. Uh, Strongheart, I can't stress it out enough. Um, people get Strongheart as fast as possible if you don't already have him. He doubles your quest, season quest, uh, progression. So every area uh, you complete with four sh uh, stacks of Shaker's Celestial Puzzle counts as two. Yeah, but painting uh, these enemies with Danny, man, I just burped. 
I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Stop being sorry. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop being sorry. I just burp. That's it. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's throw in that that wall. That's amazing. Um. I forget. Yeah. Um, those dummy attacks, painting uh, enemies with. Hello, who's there? Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are. Uh, and welcome to my stream of Idle Champions. I was just um, um, talking about Dani and her paints that don't go up as fast as I expect them. But I do have a strategy in mind, yeah, which includes Wither. And putting Widow in the middle. <laughs> it includes Shandy. It includes Deacon. And Attack. Yeah. That's. That's it. Yeah. That should do the trick. To paint as much enemies as possible as humanly humanly possible with Dani. Uh, I think the, the the main reason those um, don't go up as fast as I expect them to. Who's there? Alice. Alice. Emily. I don't know. Hello, anyway. Um, it is probably that Danny has um, actually a pretty, pretty fast attack. Okay, now she's standing right to Virgil, but, but still pretty fast attack but she it's it looks she doesn't uh, attack as often it doesn't paint the enemies as often that's why I I put um, a familiar on her ultimate the weather clears and Danny pulls a quiver of sharp and paint brushes that sounds cool. From her robes and flings them out of five, five random enemies. They deal damage and apply Danny's pains to all enemies they hit. So, in fact, every time that ultimate triggers, it should pain three or up. Uh, five or up to five enemies depending on how many enemies are on screen of course uh, with her paint but okay doesn't look like it works as intended um, anyway there is some uh, I don't, know, I don't think we should dive all too much into that. That's too much text. Um, there was a, some nice changes. Uh, Celise finally got her overwhelm increased. Uh, from, I think it was 15 or 20 to 25. 
which helps a lot, especially once you hit 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 a wall. Um, what else? Uh, Sorobu. Sorobu is finally not kept anymore. Hooray! This is great. Danny, uh, Sorobu isn't kept anymore. Um, but then again, <laughs> I lost all his kills and I'm slowly, well, more or less slowly, um, regaining his kill, kills. That takes a while. It was pretty, quite a drawback, but okay. Can't have everything. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we got Kalak. And I always forget on which bench slot she is sitting. She's female. It took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> Um, uh, where is she? Where is she? Come on. Uh, bup. Bup, bup. Ah. Slot four. Um. Which means she's not really usable at the moment because uh, she sits on the same bench slot as Kent. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer, but okay. Um, but I do have to say that I really like her. She is a tank slash DPS which is a combination that is very much needed. Um, I haven't got much of her equipment. I haven't even got all her equipment. Still trying to, to get it. Mm. But I think she she will perform pretty well. Yeah. Let's just quickly check. I think she is an AA, yeah. Yeah, not an anonymous alcoholic, but an absolute adversary. Uh ooh, that was a bad pun. Oh shoot, that was a bad pun. I'm so I'm not sorry. Never be sorry for bad puns. No. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm I'm trying to get my Bahamut favor up while I'm trying to get those Dani pains up. But as you can see, that's my lowest tier at the moment so um yeah i think i have to use that wibble shandy deacon spawn increase speed increase uh, um tactic once again um same as last season with Sarabu and his skills, kills. Um, that took me a while, but it worked. So, yeah, we still have over a month left, so that should be good. In the meanwhile, I'm I'm doing um, trials of Mount Humid run. We are on day one, and we've got two people who don't obviously participate, <laughs> as always. 
Um, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Um, usually people do participate. And if they don't, it's their fault. I mean, they don't get, hold on. Is that better? I think that's better. But that's worse. Yeah, like that. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they provide the goodies, like the scales, a lot of scales, and the favor, the favor increase, which I'm now putting in RL favor because I'm. <laughs> I, I made such a stupid mis mistake. I I thought I had like uh, more than enough Aurel's favor already, and just increased all the perks, and ended up with like zero Aurel's favor. <laughs> that was a bit of a bummer, but okay. We will get back on track with our real favor. If we do, uh, let's say, how long will that season be? Oh, 45 days even. That, uh, let me do the math, that's over six uh, weeks. So we can do six trials of Mount Human runs. That's uh, a favor increase of over 100 times six. It doubles six times. So yeah, that's that's something. That's something. Yeah. And I usually start Trials of Mount Human runs on uh, Sunday, Sundays in the morning. That's, I think that's my, most comfortable for me. <laughs> so yeah, we should be good. I'm, on, are we on, on, on day one? And we already get a boost of uh, 71%. Uh, nope, not much increased by now. Um, so yeah, we should get like 120, 130% increase and some scales that should be pretty good um carlock what can we say about carlock um well don't talk about carlock let's show carlock Um, yeah, she's a berserker, of course, of course she is, um, and she gonna replace Evelyn, I'm sorry Evelyn, but, you know, <laughs> Kalak's ultimate is pretty cool. It lasts until the next bus area. It has an awful cooldown at the moment uh, of over eight uh, minutes, but that's going to be better, especially uh, if the next season will be uh, about ad absolute adversaries. Which I'm pretty sure it will be. Well, yeah, it will be a good chance. 
because we've seen a, an influx of, of well, hooray. We unlock an even new feed. Uh, theory of awareness, of course. Um, oh, I still just need one equipment slot. Come on. Um, yeah, Kalak is always eligible for Sariel events, uh, pattern variants, I mean. Which makes her pretty useful, uh, considering she's a tank and a pretty good DPS. As you can see, we have a, a level 7 teddy bear. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's a female tiefling and has a anna and a teddy bear. And that one already increases uh, the damage of all champions by. It triples it. Um, Kalak increases all damage of all champions behind her in the column. Let's switch to the normal uh, notation. It's at 2.6 billion. Which is pretty cool. She's got that Ceramophosis BAM and in her hat. Uh, mindfully a tadpole in this. Um, and that adds up to her health. What else can we say? Oh, rage, rage. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. I haven't figured out how to uh, really max rage stacks. Um, whenever she attacks or she is attacked, that means at higher levels, higher areas and, and walls, her rage stacks should go up, but at mid uh, areas, they're staying around 1 up to 10, which is not really a big, big deal. And there are some uh, features or skills that trigger when she has 20 or, 20 or more rage stacks, um, like uh, the damage doing 1 points, uh, 0 point 0.1, 1 point 0, that'd be cool, 0 point 0.1 second of BD base damage. For each rage deck to any enemy that attacks her, that attacks her, she, so she retaliates. And she increases her own damage by 50% for each rage stack she has. That, that only triggers when she is above 20 uh, rage stacks and that only happens as far as it can tell only really happens when you're reaching a wall and yeah that an experienced gladiator skill I have to do that more often I admit doing serial uh, variants 
I'm probably do that later on because it really helps as well. So yeah, her feet. Uh, not a big surprise. Selflessness. Okay. Uh, a feed findish fury that increases the rage ability by twenty percent. Rising flames increases her fury of awareness ability. But that one that increases the damage of the champion's speed in the column behind her by 20% uh, a self DPS upgrade which I wouldn't recommend at the moment uh, health upgrade and uh, overwhelm uh, upgrade And taunting, taunting, taunting is always cool. Yeah. I didn't buy. I could actually buy the, the, the taunt uh, feat, but I would increase her damage by 400%. It means she would do five times damage. And have a 50% to taunt enemies. But, um, nope, not at the moment. So, um, we're switching back to Evelyn, I think. Uh, whoa, ho. Um, hold on. Hold on, we have a mess. We really do have a mess. We lost. We lost Virgil. No, uh, we lost. Uh, ah, we lost. Of course, Kent. Yeah, that's better. Um, let's just check the damage. Yeah, it really goes up. And it really goes up further. No, it doesn't. That's interesting. Donnie is now by far but setting. That's really interesting. What am I doing wrong here? The interesting thing is that <laughs> now I changed that Danny is by far by far um, DPS setting base DPS setting but uh, Artemis is BUD setting because Artemis is so freaking 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 uh, uh, fast, and he crits hit a lot. So who is there? Hello. Everyone so shy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's maybe just sit back and relax and have a sip of that. Energy drink. I shouldn't drink so much, but it's so tasty. And um, while we are at it, doing a bit of background stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, 
ok. A... <laughs> cool. So we close. Yeah, no, no, they didn't close. But we are slowly getting there to, to max out our uh, heroes, our champions. And Artemis will be BUD setting for the rest of the adventure. Uh, we should reach like area 800 or something. And it should give us quite some Bahamut uh, favor increase. And the DPS and a burp again. And the DPS uh, increase. We are already at over 1,000. It's over 9,000! Uh, over a thousand DPS um, on day one. I'm running on, uh, I think it's normal. Uh, yeah, it's normal health. So, TMAT should be down in like two or three days more like three days depends on on the other two people that one that one um yeah if they participate i don't know in which time zone they live so i'm not blaming them yet I love that, by the way, that that inter disintegrating wall of light. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, that really helped uh, with triggering uh, Virgil's rapid fire, which I already maxed out, by the way. Hooray. That's the first milestone quest I... I a max yeah and there's still a lot of experience to gain except those uh, obtain a piece of epic gear for each of uh, a champion's equipment slot that's almost impossible to get it really depends on your luck, yeah. But that one completing car luck to 100 gives us 750 experience. Um, that one gives us another 700 complete. Oh, that's thousand areas. So that's five hundred areas with Strongheart in the background. Um, that's already another level, which gives us uh, a really useful boost for the least twenty-five item levels and a lovely skin. Hooray! <laughs> and yeah the next buff will be a damage buff so we we should be set we should be set i'm just thinking about something i will probably let run idle champions in the background for now and see how far I can get well first max out uh, all the champions and just focus on uh, Artemis and <laughs> 
then I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> too much information, man, too much information. Um, then I'm having a quick break and I'm fetching something to eat. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to the bathroom. Um, and then I'm going to stream. And I can already hear uh, Hayek's scream, rhymes with stream. Not Ashen and Paris, but front row Skyrim again. Yeah, last time I, I was, I was like, I was stuck. Uh, that bad guy approach. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't probably the best idea. Um, I got a bounty placed on my head, and some thugs were follow following me all around and killed me like several times and stuff like that. So I probably have to reload. An earlier um, game where I didn't kill an entire farm of innocent people. <laughs> Hashtag evil a lot. Um, and let's see how, how, how we can infiltrate that uh, courtyard there. So, um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll probably do that. I'm having a quick cigarette. And that should take us up to well, way beyond area 300. And then I'm gonna restart the stream and have another stream of <gasps> Skyrim. Yeah. Did I tell you about my new setup? Yep. I finally ordered my new PC. It's gonna be one hell of a beast that it's giving me a headache, to be perfectly honest, because I'm planning on having that monitor. That's a, I think it's a 23 inch monitor. Yeah, 23. Yeah, it's 23. And it's a secondary monitor placed there where I have all my beverages and the microphone my my beloved microphone that I'm always whispering in um yeah that's gonna be my my secondary monitor and I ordered a what was it hold on Oh, a 29-inch monitor. Oh, cool. 29-inch monitor um, as my primary monitor, obviously. Um, that's going to be there where my monitor is right now. Takes a bit more space. Um, maybe I should just buy a new desk, like, maybe, like, that way, so I can put my beverages there, 
Why not? Let's see. Um, <laughs> that's that's quite exactly the definition of um, first world problems, isn't it? Where do I put my second monitor? That's totally uh, <laughs> totally a, a, a first world problem. Yeah, but but still, it's a problem. Oh, and David Bowie died. I mean, not recently, but um, it was his. I don't know. Do you say anniversary now? Um, yeah, the, the anniversary of his death, like three, four days ago. And I was listening to all his albums. Uh, I really loved, and I still love, of course, I still love David Bowie. Man, I never thought I needed so many people. <laughs> that wasn't a random Monty Python quote, that was a David Bowie quote. Yeah. Um, David Bowie, such a great, 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 great musician. Really, <clears throat> I loved him, and I loved the way he played. No, he didn't play them. He really lived his different personas: the thin white duke, Ziggy Stardust. Uh, etc. You really lived them, and you would you could really feel how he was those personas, and uh, yeah, he was crazy. There was this intro. Uh, yeah, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol. When they were jamming in the studio. And that jam even made it to the uh, to the album. And he was saying something along the lines like I ordered the palm tree. A piece of palm tree. No, uh, uh, sorry. I ordered a lobster, a lobster tape, and I got a palm tree, a piece of palm tree. What do you make of sentences like that? I don't know. But <laughs> it's so cool. It was amazing. Okay. That's the last cigarette for <laughs> not today. <laughs> no, I wish. I wish that's such a bad habit. I know. But that was the last cigarette for the stream. Um, I'm gonna let run Idol Champions in the background now. Maybe check back later and see how far we got. And in the meanwhile, I'm uh, whispering in my microphone. And I wish you all uh, very much fun in the meanwhile. 
I hope to see you soon on my next stream of Skyrim. Hooray! Dabbling into Skyrim. I will definitely be a bad guy, but <laughs> I should make it to that. Um, I don't know what it's, uh, it's that, that uh, courtyard scene I have to infiltrate. Uh, I faintly remember it from last time I played 15 years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to reload an old game and and start from there just to make things easier and then be a bad guy in the courtroom hooray in the meanwhile everyone have fun and i'll hold on i'll see you soon on my next stream on twitch uh, the dystopian innkeeper welcomes you in about, let's say, maybe half an hour or so. Something like that. Okay, see you then. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.